Hello Libra, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. We're going to get started with your love reading. This is going to be a shorter version of a traditional love reading. Celtic Cross, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Libra. Libra, exposed and revealed. Ooh, you're going to have an eye-opening experience with somebody. Looks like you're going to learn something that's going to be, oh nice, endless possibilities. So you have a love opportunity that's going to please you very much. You're going to find it surprising with that, that exposed and revealed. Beyond the ordinary. Ooh, so beyond the ordinary means extraordinary. So let's look at the Celtic cross. This is your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions with you. What is likely to happen. It's sort of a snapshot kind of a reading. I just will clarify any challenging cards. Okay, so let's see what we have. The person that you've come to ask about in this reading, bottom of the deck, is a death card. So they're going through a transformation, a very significant period of time in their life. The status quo, they want to make you an offer. That is grounded, great energy, one of my favorites. You should get a message that says, let's go out for coffee, let's go out for a little date, let's go do something. Seven of coins, this person sees you as tremendous opportunity in terms of love. They're invested in this relationship. They're willing to do the work. They're willing to take time to develop the relationship. What brings them to the reading is this very fiery, passionate, magical energy. Look at this. It's almost like this person is creating magic. They feel chemistry with you, Libra. They find you to be really beautiful, possibly in red. They are coming in with a very, um, very intense energy, very kind of very boastful, kind of fun eccentric they they want your attention look at that they're jumping through hoops on thoroughbreds to get your attention this is a knight of wands energy so you have to be a little bit careful you have to make sure but i like the king of wands you know the knight of wands is that beginning passion intensity but we do have somebody who's grounded here so we have somebody who's also invested. Oh, lovely. King of Wands, King of Wands. This deck has a feminine and a masculine King of Wands. Yay. The Knight of Wands is, is in the past. So their intention towards you is very fixed, very solid, uh, endless possibilities, you know, certainly extraordinary. In the near future, Ace of Cups, they open their heart. It's transformative to them. Ace of Cups with all these beautiful yellow butterflies, which is a very sunny energy. This is Leo. This is Leo. Yellow is sunshiny energy. We get them also with this Virgo energy being very grounded, a Taurus energy being very grounded. Right now, they're really not showing you what they're thinking, but look at how cute. A bird's, you know, a birdhouse, two lovebirds. They're peeking out from underneath this sort of fake grass hair. They're watching you very closely, and they're not saying much. The Nine of Cups. That's the wish fulfillment for you in the deck. This means that whatever you came to ask about in this reading, your wish is fulfilled happy joyful energy they want to introduce you to all their friends they want to be make a big public splashy you know time with you they want to celebrate you might even meet them at a party of some sort if you haven't met them already but this person is somebody that you know currently is what i'm seeing we have the fool card they are very afraid of showing their tail <laughs> They want a new beginning. So their intention, what they want most in the world is to have a new beginning and to make sure that whatever, we all have toxicity, we all have kind of a little bit of crazy. They want to make sure that they keep that buried. They want you, they want to give you only the best. The outcome card is the high priestess. This person is waiting, watching. They're very emotional. They're trying to tame their emotions. But this is a very discreet card. It seems as though they may have been watching you from afar. I get two cards of almost spy-like energy, but they are boldly coming forward. They're making a huge offer. They're making a very grounded offer. The Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, two, two, two of the best combinations in the entire tarot. 
uh, deck. And I love this energy of the King of Wands. This is a person who likes to be a hero. They like to be very outward. They like they have a lot of energy. But that Nine of Cups, you are going to be very, very happy. Let's take a quick look and see what this energy is of the High Priestess. Tell us about the High Priestess spirit, please. Why is this here for the outcome? Oh, and the right. Oh, they're waiting for just the right time. Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. They are waiting and watching for that moment in which they can beat the drum and make a fast forward movement with you. Why is a fool card here? The Eight of Cups. They're fearful. They're fearful if they act foolish or, you know, they, they do something. They're afraid that you'll walk away. That is only a fear. It's not any part of the reality of the reading. What do we have here with the Two of Swords? <laughs> the Spy card over here. Father of Wands. Oh, my God. We have a trifecta of King of Wands, King of Wands, King of Wands. <laughs> They're both, they're also very into their masculine and feminine energy. This is a person who has a lot of softness in their love. They have a lot of ability to nurture. And what do we see here with the Knight of Wands? Well, it looks like you shot that Knight of Wands down. Whenever they presented themselves to you with this sort of player energy, they get, you dismissed them. <laughs> Good for you. Libra, it's been lovely. Sending you love from Chicago. Hope that you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment if you would be so kind. And I hope to see you in another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.